Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. This is my second video about the painting of uh, bodies. In this video I am talking about polycarbonate bodies. There may be some parallels to the hard bodies, but for polycarbonate bodies it's some kind of the other way around. As I said before, I'm not a professional painter. I'm just a hobby modeller like you and uh, I cannot guarantee that you get a perfect uh, body with my tricks. It's all up to you, but I hope I can uh, help you a little bit with my tricks. So the first step, and this is really essential, is take your time. Don't go on in a hurry or do the paint job just between your real job, your homework and uh, your spare time. Take your time and uh, for the example on the super hot shot, this takes uh, around 15 hours to paint. There are eight slight layers of uh, effect color and three layers of uh, black back color. I took the time to do a very good job on each layer and I gave the body enough time to dry out. And taking time is uh, some kind of a mental thing. If you are really relaxed and uh, you can concentrate on your job, I assure you the finished result will be much better as if you hurry through it. The second tip is make a plan. Most of the polycarbonate bodies uh, need some uh, work in preparation. So get confirmed with the parts uh, you have in the kit and uh, make your mind up how you want to paint it, what you want to do. It's, uh, although it's uh, some kind of more work compared to a hard body, it's slightly easier. I never had seen a body without a uh, missing and protection foam, uh, foil, excuse me. So you can use this uh, foil for your markings with a pen where you have to drill holes, which dimension the holes have uh, to be. You can uh, mark the cutting lines and uh, so you get on uh, with your plan and uh, you know which step is the next before you can paint the body. If you think it's the amount of work, it also might be the plan that you do the body parallel to the build of the chassis to spare some time and uh, get on with the work and uh, have the body almost uh, done as uh, soon as the chassis is done and you can go out and run with the car. And a big topic uh, with these polycarbonate bodies is uh, the masking of the bodies. So we have here on the comical grasshopper windows which have to be masked first. And uh, this has to be planned too. So you go inside your mind and think about what are you doing. This uh, support shot body was quite easy. There has, oh yeah, one hole has to be drilled and uh, these uh, gaps. Also here two holes and uh, two gaps uh, and the rest was cutting out. This was uh, very fast. Here we have to get in mind the option, this is not straight in the kit, the option of the light kit where you want to put uh, the holes. This has to be planned and also here on the Turbo Scorpion. The lights uh, are just options. You get the light housings in the kit, but not the LEDs. Polycarbonate bodies will be painted the other way around uh, compared to hard or ABS bodies. So the color scheme is uh, just the same. It's the other way around. On hard bodies, we paint bright colors first, then the dark colors, because the dark colors cover the bright colors. Here it's the other way around. You do first the dark colors, and then the bright colors, and that has to be planned too, as long as you do your masking plans. 
and it also might be uh, kind of your plan if you want to cut and drill first and then paint or first paint and then cut and drill. For example, I have the comical grasshopper which comes with a pre-painted body but I have to cut it out and uh, do the drilling job but I'm not a fan of it. I like to do drilling and cutting first and then go on with the painting because uh, it might happen if you drill or cut out the body that you remove some uh, color. My third trick is to test the color right before I start with the work. This might uh, be because I'm using uh, color from different manufacturers where I have to test if uh, each color affects the other or just a special I want to know how some own creation of colors will do. So there I take uh, off uh, some parts from the body which aren't used and uh, do a test uh, coloring. Here I also mentioned how many layers of which color I do. Here we have two layers of silver and five layers of resistant color. And uh, I hadn't uh, mentioned the black backing. And uh, here we have four layers of silver before I backed it up. So you can always see how will your workshop done. And in this case, where you have to pay more attention to pro provide any mistakes. The fourth tip I'd like to say is a good preparation. We already had said uh, we had cut it out and drilled it. And uh, we had tested our color, which might be a kind of preparation too. But for the body, it is essential to clean it up right from the outside. Soak water in the kitchen dish will be very good. Do it sometimes. Remove all the water which might be left in there or soap bubbles. Everything has to go out and after that don't touch inside the body. You paint these bodies from the inside. So it shouldn't be an issue to touch inside the body because you can handle it very good uh, from the outside and uh, hold it uh, like some other kind of bowl or bucket, uh, which is uh, very easy to handle. But this good handling of the, these bodies doesn't prevent you from my fifth tip, which is doing dry runs. To show the principles of dry runs, I take uh, my running body from the Kong head. So, you can Hold the body very good every time when you do a spraying because uh, there is a protection foil on it and you just have to put inside here. But you see many corners and edges and uh, you want to spray each point with the same distance to the rattle can and uh, to the body. So it's very good to exercise it with a closed can, how you want to go through, which are your steps. And this is a very essential thing to get a good result later on. And I have a sixth tip, which uh, comes along. I don't hope for you, but uh, sometimes it appears when you do the paint job, these are mistakes. I'm not talking about mistakes itself, I'm talking about the handling of the mistakes. You know, when you had made some mistakes or mistakes occurred in your painting, don't panic. They are done, you, there's nothing you can do about it, just handle them. Let the body dry out and then go with the mistake removing. On hard bodies it's uh, slightly easier because you can uh, send them off and uh, paint over them. Here it's a slightly other method. You have to use some paint remover or 
nail polish remover or acetone. Most of the paint removers are based on acetone. And uh, most paint can be removed uh, when you are still at the first color. If you're doing uh, a more color job, then you have a little problem because you're going through all layers. But mistakes most of the time appear on the first color. So you can remove it and uh, spray over it. And uh, here we see there is a big mistake. I hadn't seen it. I come uh, to this uh, mistake uh, in my next video when I'm talking about effect colors. The problem was uh, that uh, this is uh, translucent red on the first layer and uh, translucent has uh, more part of the color or the chemical base which is the color and uh, less parts uh, of the color particles and uh, so it dries out very slow and uh, intends to run into edges and corners. You also have uh, problems uh, with some of the wings. Here in this case, this is all right. And here you can see it. There's slightly an edge where the color doesn't uh, right fit in this uh, little gap, which is a problem many wings have. It right here, but uh, with, li with with this, you have to live. There's nothing you can do about it. Just stay calm. It, it's uh, not really a mistake. The other mistakes can be handled with color removement and uh, new paintings. And uh, one thing, this was on this boy. You can't see it. I'm not a fan of sponsor stickers, but in this case, I touched the body on this uh, body mount and removed uh, the color straight through to the polycarbonate body. And uh, so I put a sticker over here so you don't see the mistake. Another easy method of uh, mistake hiding is under here. There was a little dot. I don't know how I get it, but uh, I see it. So I move the sticker. Normally the two sits uh, more here and I moved it above and hide the mistake. So these are the two methods uh, of uh, removing the mistakes on polycarbonate bodies. The first thing is remove the color and paint uh, it again. And the second is Hide it with some stickers. You see the handling of mistakes on polycarbonate bodies is very easy. As easy as the complete uh, handling of these bodies is. So these are my six tips and tricks about painting polycarbonate bodies. If you got some questions, write it down in the comments. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. This really helped me out. See you soon on Assy Birds.